Welcome back to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Today, I'm going to do segment two of our review we did of the Gray Man Tactical Rigid Molly Panels. And if you've watched that first video, and I'll link to it in the section below if you missed that, and this right here uh, is this continuation video. And it's also part of our FJ Cruiser Bug Out Vehicle series of videos we're doing to show the improvements on the FJ and how we can make it a little more, you know, compatible for off-roading and for bugging out and things like that and I want to show you how we mounted the Gray Man Tactical Rigid Molly panels in the FJ. So let's take a look and see what we got going on here. So if you look guys, I have one on the driver's side holding my AR. This um, actually is the reason I wound up finding this company and reaching out to them was because I've been trying to figure out a good way to mount my AR inside the vehicle somehow and I just couldn't figure out a good plan and after doing some research and stuff I found this company uh, and they had really good reviews and really highly thought of within the you know special forces community and places like that so I reached out to them and, and that's how I got to this uh, getting these and trying them out here um, but if you look I have this one mounted in here like this and what we're doing, and I'll go ahead and show you the other side also, how I've got that stuff mounted. Let's take a look here. Now if you look. Alright, so what you got going on, guys, if you watch the other video, I simply have paracord with a rubber handle here, a rubber hose handle. And I just, it, you have to take the headrest off first and then put this on and then slide it on. And that locks that in place. Then down here, I have the attachment system right in here. And what it is, there's a long strap that goes underneath the seat that ties into um, some of the metal bars underneath there and things. And then it just goes to two fast tech buckles that is attached to the panel here so it's quick release so I can go down here and unclip these simply just take the headrest off and now I can take this whole panel out so let's get back here and kind of take a look at what you got going on here so if you look they included these fast tech buckle clips that just simply I run around uh, the strapping uh, through the system and then it just simply clips in there so let me show you what I got going on. To take this rifle out is very simple. You simply undo the fast tech buckle and the rifle releases. Now I did something a little different. I kind of did my own modification down here at the bottom. If you look down here at the bottom, the, I added that. And that is simply a um, what used to I used to use on my duty belt as a uh, flashlight holder for a, a D-cell mag flashlight. Um, so anyway, that's what I used, and if that breaks, uh, that plastic, because that is made of plastic, that ring, I'm probably just going to take 550 cord. They sent me a couple different things, but I wanted something where I could just unclip, just clip one buckle and have that to kind of fit in there. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways. They, they included some Velcro cinch straps that I'm going to add later with some other items I'm going to carry on here. And I'm going to set this camera up here, guys, and I'm going to install this rifle back real quick. And I don't know how much of that I got in frame. If you look, that's how quick and easy it is. Very simple. And it's very secure up here. And I wouldn't worry about it coming off or anything like that. Um, so that's why these panels are very popular with uh, the Special Forces guys and security contractors and stuff because it allows them to you know, do things like this and be able to mount their rifles and all their gear in their vehicles. But anyway, guys, if you're looking for a um, organization system that's very durable and versatile for your vehicle and any other type, you know, any boats or anything else, you'd be hard pressed to find something a better system than this that I found. I just don't like the cloth panels. I've seen them. Um, I've actually tried one a couple years ago. I didn't like it, and these are here being rigid. I really like them, and, and I like the versatility of them. But I want to thank the guys. I want to thank Paul and the guys over at Gray Man Tactical for sending these over for us to review and test. So far, I am I'm really happy with them, and I knew I probably would be, and uh, I'm just I'm glad to get them. So anyway, guys, if you like our videos, give us that thumbs up. It's over in there, that section over there. If you would, 
share the content it's over in that section over there and if you uh, share content share it on Google Plus Facebook places like that it's always helpful helps the channel grow it also helps our vendors and anyway guys appreciate you tuning in as always like share and subscribe and we bring another video shortly have a great day guys